Hey YouTubers, uh, this is Rowdy Beaver 33 I know it's been a long time since I put out a video. Uh, I've had some issues with uh, trying to figure out how to put uh, my videos up on, on YouTube and converting an MTS file uh, to you know, a regular file that uh, YouTube would accept without the image degrading so bad that you could you couldn't even tell what was going on, I mean, or what you what was being reviewed or what you were uh, what product you were even talking about. But I may have figured something out. I hope this is true. If if this shows up on on uh, YouTube and you're watching this right now, I guess, and it's not just super pixelated or tiled or whatever you know the term is, uh, that means that I figured something out, which which is great. Anyway, uh, so basically this is just a test. But I did want to review this because I thought it was a pretty cool product. Uh, this is uh, the Cocoon. Uh, ultralight air core pillow uh, it's got a uh, what it says is it's got a premium synthetic fill but it's also uh, inflatable it's super tiny whenever you pack it so it's not going to take up much space in your pack it's only 3.7 ounces uh, but it used to be my wife's I originally got it for her and I kind of made fun of her for having a pillow but I uh, soon became envious because I, I realized that I needed a pillow and what I'd been using was just my uh, uh, oh my compression sack for my sleeping bag and I stuff it full of clothes which works okay but still I thought this was pretty cool well anyway it's uh, my wife didn't like it a whole lot she so we went with a down pillow for her and I'll probably review that uh, next but it was a super compressible compressible uh, down pillow is what we went with for her but for for my comfort level and, and what I feel that you know I should be at this is fine I understand there's gonna be a certain amount of discomfort in in the woods when we're camping and uh, but this thing right here is pretty darn cool anyway I want to go ahead and, and pull it out and show it to you and that sounded wrong didn't it? okay this is how it looks when it comes out of the sack now it's uh, it's not bad it's got a nice soft kind of a fleecy feel on uh, on one side and on the other side is the kind of, uh, uh, it just appears to be some kind of a, a, a nylon on the other side. Uh, and it has a uh, uh, inflation, it's kind of a, a stem like you'd see on your Thermarest uh, air mattresses or other air mattresses that are out there. But you just blow into this and then when you get it to the level of feel that you want, you can screw it closed and, and uh, it you know, holds the air in. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and blow it up now and see, uh, see what it looks like. Alright, here's what it looks like inflated. And uh, you can play with it, you know. Uh, see, uh, I mean, let some of the air out. I, I personally like it a little bit deflated. And of course, I like to have it on the fleece side where it's soft. Uh, it's way more comfortable that way, in my opinion. Uh, but it, it works well for me. I've used it several times and it works just fine. I might wake up in the middle of the night and twist the little uh, end cap and let some of the air out. Uh, so it's a little bit squishier. But uh, if you get one, you can play with it and get it to the comfort level you want. Uh, or the as far as uh, how much loft you want it to have. Uh, anyway. That's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this uh, this actually I don't know. I hope I figure out how to get this posted. What I the changes that I've made uh, I hope uh, are enough to make it where I'm able to post this. But anyway, the cocoon. Uh, what's it called? The cocoon ultralight air core pillow. Uh, great product. I recommend it. Out. Yeah.